Hi there, it's me the yellow dude and I'm back again with another video. If you haven't watched the previous parts of this series then I suggest you go ahead and watch them cause they're quite fun. Anyways, in this series I'm making a game in different game engines. The game engine list includes Godot, Unity, Roblox, Game Maker, Construct and GDweller. And also there's a secret game engine that I will reveal at the end of this series so stay tuned. In today's video we are doing GDevelop vs Construct. If you don't know, these two are no code game engines that means you can make a game without any coding and they are both free. I am really excited for this one so without wasting any time, let's start. So I created a new project in GDevelop and made a sprite for the player in the built-in pixel editor called Piscal, which is really awesome. Then I added the player into the scene. I tried adding the default platformer behavior to the player, but the results were not quite good as the movement was quite slippery. I tried tweaking the default values so that I can get the result I wanted, but the movement was not quite good, so I decided to make my own movement system. It was actually very easy to make a custom movement system in GDevelop, and yeah, I was really happy with the new movement system. Then I got started with the block spawning mechanic. I tried making my own spawning system but then I found out that there is an extension that basically does the same thing. So I thought, why make it when we can get it? I downloaded the extension and modified it according to my needs and voila, the block spawning was done in no time. So after that I did the same care thingy and the basic gameplay was done. Then I tried to add some particles and uh, that didn't go well. So I left the particles and made the game over UI instead. The restart button works like charm. All you have to do is hover your mouse over the button and it works. And that was GDevelop. It was real fun making a game in this one. And I am thinking that I might make a complete game in it someday. We'll see. I made a new construct project and made basic player movement using the default platformer behavior. And the movement felt nice already. Then I added an empty sprite just to make the block spawner. And started to work on the block spawning. Creating the spawning mechanic was really easy. I also made the create fall down after spawning. Then I made the scene restart when the create collides with the player and that create destroy thingy. Then I clamped the player to the screen so that it cannot go out of the screen. I realized later that there is a behavior for that thing but uh, yeah whatever. Then I also made the player controllable using the A and D key and made the player flip in the direction he is going because it is cool you know. I also made the restart button and it works really good and the game was done. GDevelop and Construct works almost the same. They both have the same event system and it's really easy to make games in both of them. And I had a lot of fun making the games in both of them. So if you enjoyed then subscribe or else uh, you know what else so just subscribe.